Okay, so I'm recording. So you can use this for later purpose. This is the main piece of oven. <clears throat> First, you want to make sure that the gas is on. Sometimes, especially over the weekend, the gas will get shut off. And this is one of the pieces of equipment that does not need a pilot light lit. It's all electronic. So if the gas is off, the one thing you have to do is turn the gas back on. All you do is press the yellow gas reset button once. You hear a click, and you're ready to go. But now after you press that, all the items that do have pilot lights will need to be lit. And I'll show you that shortly. But right now, the pizza oven is ready to go. So the first thing you'll do is you remove this before you turn anything on. And really all you got to do is place it below here. Out the way. Sometimes what I do is, uh, really what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to brush this stone after each use. Some people are buried as you can see. Um, you turn it on. And that screen will come on. All right, your starting page is on. Default recipe, user recipe, menu mode, settings. Now, being that all this is going to be simple, you just want to go ahead and use manual mode. Open that door, and you just press manual mode. So right here, all you do is you set the amount of time it takes to make one revolution, the direction that it'll move, whether backwards or forwards, and you can add time on uh, plus five seconds, minus five seconds. Let me see if I get this in decent focus. <coughs> And then it has the area for high flame, low flame. You don't have to worry about all that. And then the temperature that it's burning off of. Now this particular one only has one burner on the left hand side. So you don't have to worry about turning on one burner. It's about to cut on now. And you'll see it cut on in a little bit. It'll take a little bit to get up there. See that flame going? And it's going to heat up the entire oven. So from there, you want to go ahead and turn your revolutions on. Right now, you can go ahead and put it at 90 seconds and then have it move, move it forward. Now you'll see the stone turning in one direction. Now the flame is going on one side. Just be mindful of where you place your dough. You don't just place it in the middle. I don't want to see it. Yeah, we got that point in time ready to go. Now, it'll take about, I normally turn this on about an hour before it's time to cook because it's not like a convection oven where you just want to get the temperature. This one here, you want to get the temperature, but the main thing you want to get the temperature is that stone. So I say nothing shorter than an hour prior to your event you want to turn this oven on. That's about it. You let it warm up. And you never want to place that door back on here until it's cooled off. Not even when it's turned off, make sure it's cool before you place it back on there. And as soon as you're done cooking, or even in between cooking, you could have a whole bunch of burnt carbon on there. Go ahead and brush it off as you're going. Know what you do? Yeah. But make sure it's already been burnt and cool crisp and it brushes out much more easier. And then after that, when you're done, it's as simple as turning it off. Why do you always put many seconds? It's just it's almost like setting each oven to three fifty. Oh, okay. And you can go anywhere up or down, but I think all depending on what item you're placing the oven whether it's already a pre-baked crust or fresh dough 
or uh, par baked dough. Mm -hmm. It all depends on how hot you want your oven to go because you don't want your cook your toppings to cook faster than your dough or vice versa. Okay. Any questions?